now we are going to see surface finish contour tool path and shallow tool path okay the both the tool path we are going to see now uh, already uh, we have uh, done on uh, sample model uh, that same uh, model we will use it uh, here also uh, already we have uh, done uh, uh, rough contour we have done and uh, uh, we kept a little stock and uh, we have made the rough contour and even shallow tool path also uh, we have already finished the same tool path we are going to uh, uh, the same thing we are going to use it now uh, instead of rough contour we are going to use a finish contour ok so surface uh, rough contour and the surface finish contour there is no big difference uh, both are uh, look uh, uh, almost uh, both uh, properties are uh, same only. Uh, so, and here also uh, the contour tool path uh, never cuts the flat surfaces. It always cut only the uh, profile and the uh, straight edge surfaces. So I have selected now the surface and the chain. I took a 6 ball and mill, I keep stock tool is 0 and the cutting method zigzag and the step down uh, I will keep a 0.2 I will switch on the optimized cut order and the follow surface ok uh, remaining thing not uh, that much uh, required now <coughs> stock also I have not given ok so it regenerated now it will, it will machine very nicely but uh, it, it will not cut the flat area uh, you can see here <laughs> but uh, uh, it went outside uh, so I will modify the compensation now I will say that compensate inside I will regenerate again so inside the boundary so it will start to machine Inside, inside the boundary so oh, still still one more pass it is coming so I will go here and inside I will say 1 or 2 mm I will give ok now I regenerate ok now you can see that it has mentioned that this is the we can see flat surface it has it has not uh, machined top also it has uh, not machined uh, this is the surface finish contour tool part <coughs> in rough tool uh, uh, semi finishing how much metal you have kept you kept the point to uh, that same point to is you are removed in the finish contour ok mm, uh, you can see the uh, transition line uh, uh, from one depth to another depth uh, if you use uh, a follow surface definitely uh, there, there must be a, a small uh, line uh, is visible after finishing ok it is visible after finishing if you don't want means you change the cutting method to high speed then you will not get the uh, <coughs> you will not get uh, uh, the line mark or uh, so the transition line will not be visible in this case ok now you can see uh, there is no uh, line over there ok uh, now uh, we need to add a shallow also uh, already uh, this uh, Contour tool path alone cannot uh, uh, completely machine the model. So, whenever you want a bottom or flat surface uh, and uh, to be machined, then we need to use the shallow tool path. Already we used the shallow tool path. I just uh, 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 earlier uh, tool path we have kept some stock. Uh, this tool path we will copy it. Uh, I will reshuffle the uh, position of the tool path 
then uh, i'll copy this tool part and paste it at the bottom and uh, i'll remove my uh, and remove my uh, stock zero and uh, parameter i'll change to uh, 0 0.2 i'll keep as a report percentage okay now um, uh, so it will it will search for uh, 0 to 10 degree in the model uh, those surfaces only it will generate the tool path so combining contour and shallow you can machine the model completely <coughs> if you want you can switch on the optimized cut, cut order oh, it was already on ok so just you uh, can see that uh, we change smooth uh, any any improvements is there that just to check it so whenever you use uh, contour toolpath you use uh, shallow toolpath so that you can uh, uh, finish uh, uh, entire model okay Uh, this is the surface finish contour and the next is the surface finish shadow <coughs> if you want to know uh, one more uh, stock model you make it uh, um, go here and uh, tool path and uh, stock model and uh, initial stock you give hmm, and uh, ok uh, at the name you give uh, stock after semi finish then uh, initial stock will change to model so stock model after rough we are using uh, source operation you can select now uh, rough contour uh, rough uh, shallow uh, uh, this two is ok ok uh, this both are the source operation ok some error is coming ok So I think I have not uh, taken the rest mill and other thing. So I will take the uh, other rest mill and uh, thing also together. Okay. Origin. No, there is some errors it is showing. Uh, initial stock setup not defined. Let's see uh, the definition. Okay. Uh, we will do one thing. stop model of stop. okay okay uh, i have not properly selected now you re regenerate it will happen i have not properly selected the initial stop uh, this model what uh, we are going to get is after semi finishing okay whatever uh, work done after semi finishing <coughs> you can uh, increase the speed of uh, calculation yes by Okay, so now we can change the stock model here. Okay, then we'll go for the uh, this both the operation we can simulate and see in the model. Now, now uh, the model which is going to load is uh, after semi finish. Okay. Okay, we can run it. You can see top it has left the material and also so wherever there is a flat uh, that contour tool path will not cut that material ok it leaves it ok now you can see that the uh, result tool path is cut on the blue color uh, it leaves some metal at the center ok so 
So now we will compare and see the steel comparison. Yes, even in the corner also, and uh, this corner also not uh, clear. How is this possible? Whether we have made any mistake in the tool diameter? Finish on tour. Checking. Uh, tool is okay. So we will reduce the tool diameter. So I will reduce it to 5 mm dia. Uh, length I will change. Okay. Update. Okay, I'm um, regenerating again. <coughs> the corner also uh, it has left the material. So let us see now. I did a fast forward so that at the end we will see the result. So here on the center and the corners, hmm? the center and the corners it leaves some material. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, so transition will modify now follow surface. Let us study whether it uh, uh, because the radius is uh, the radius is less than uh, six only. It's equivalent to six only. It has to remove the material, but uh, let us see again. Uh, just to transition, I have modified uh, uh, even though uh, uh, at the center it, there must be uh, some material uh, will be there. That we will we'll make uh, some other method, means uh, uh, blend tool path, we will use it and we will clean that uh, uh, particular uh, center material. Now we have done the rest machine, still you can see huge material is there. Okay. Now we will compare. Yes, it is cleaned now. Uh, 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 it is beautifully machined, but at the middle, but only in the center, a uh, little amount of material is there. That we will remove it in this some other process, okay. So now we have seen surface finish contour tool path and shallow tool path. We have seen uh, whenever you use contour tool path, it is advisable to use the shallow tool path along with the contour tool path, okay. If you combinedly, if you use this both the tool path. Uh, any model you can machine it properly. Okay. Uh, an advantage also in this uh, type of tool path uh, uh, in flat surface you can use uh, flat end mill, in, in the profile you can use ball end mill. So you will get a very good uh, surface finish and also time consumption also very less. So when when you cut the flat flat surface, if you cut by ball and mill, it will take a lot of time and also you will not get surface finish. So that's the reason uh, the combination of shallow and the contour will give a better result.
ओके थैंक यू